Hello. Welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Virgo weekly money and career reading from December 18th to the 31st, 2023. Yes, this is taking us all the way to the 31st. I will see you back in January. Thank you all for being here. I hope you are well. Let's see what messages we have, Virgo, for this December 18th to the 31st money and career reading. What messages do we have? What energies do we have? What is coming in? What are you creating? What are you pushing forward? Virgos, be on the lookout, on the hear out for the magic word. If anybody's interested in putting their name in the hat for a free reading, if it's the first time you are watching uh, this channel, welcome, welcome. Thank you for being here. Um, there is a magic word all the way up to the end of December for anyone that wants to potentially get a free reading. All you have to do is put the magic word down below in the comment section and most of all, be subscribed. I will pull two names from the list of subscribers and give the two names by the end of December or beginning of January. All right, let's get started. Virgo, money and career, December 18th to the 31st. There's a new idea. There's a new dynamic. Um... It seems like you're eager to learn or eager to engage in something new. There's a decision here or you're eager to make this decision or you're not excited, but, oh, let me put the light on. Um, you're, you're pumped up because um, there's a decision made. Now, either you're making this decision and it feels like um, um, a decision that maybe is unblocking a situation or a decision that had to be made because things were not jiving or working or not fitting or it wasn't moving forward the way you wanted to or connecting with the right people or producing the right product, the right idea, right? or it's not making a, enough money or something like that. And so here, either you have a new idea and you're making a decision to shake things up a little bit, to move the energy forward, right? To find a new dynamic or someone else is making this decision or the, use, you, the universe is... Uh, shaking things up a little bit, right? Whatever it is, there's a decision made um, that basically has to be made. It's almost like mandatory. Or if it's not mandatory, it is done and everyone has to sort of go with it. Yeah, there we go. Ten of Swords. Not surprising because there's the end of something. So either this decision is made because you have to end something or because of the disappointment. Maybe it's someone that you're disappointed in, a coworker, or maybe it's a, a, you know, a work situation or a business situation. And it doesn't have to be the end of a business. It can be the end of a business, a partnership, of a job. But for me here, since you do have the Page of Swords, it's your 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 mental is up you're um eager either to learn something new or to join a new team or to create something and participate right in discussions in um brainstorms to produce to make things happen and move forward let's see where this is going yes so there's the answer. This decision is made. Now it can be, be made by justice. It can be made by you, by another entity or the universe, whatever it is. It's made because it's, it, it, it's not going anywhere or there is um, a lack of funds. Yep. 
end, 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 right? Um, maybe there's not enough money. Yep. And you're moving into something more comfortable, something uh, with abundance, where you feel abundant, right? And you, wow, you have the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Aries Leo Sag doesn't have to be, but here you are, Virgo, with the Hermit in all your glory. So this decision here is really something um, putting you back. Oh, I want to say almost putting you back in your responsibility mode. And it doesn't mean you weren't taking responsibility before. It just means that um, something had to give for you to be able to find that dynamic in, again or move into a new cycle or move into that new project or work with those other people, developing with other people. Of course, there's noise as soon as I start. Apologies for that. There's nothing I can do, unfortunately. Um, so I love the fact that this King of Wands and this Queen of Wands are here. So these can be people you're working with. These can be people that made that decision. These can be your boss, your managers. Um, but I feel like it is you. It is you moving into... Um, a, um, an energy more more inspiring, more confident, and more bold and more creative. Whatever it is that you're leaving behind, and I don't even think you're leaving behind. I think this is the end of a cycle. Whatever you wanted, whatever the situation is, and it will be different for everyone. Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands is, you know, too much maybe work overload, too much responsibility, too much stress, not enough money, not enough budget, right? And sort of done, done. But I don't think it's done in, um, I don't feel it's done in a drastic way. I feel it's done because you already knew or already know what the next step is, how you are develop. <coughs> sorry, developing your energies, how you are rethinking your business, how you are rethinking your strategy, uh, nine of pentacles, you are abundant. Now, abundant means um, you have what you need. You're comfortable, right? It doesn't mean you're a gazillionaire. It means that you are abundant to push forward in, the ne in this next step. Now, you do have the hermit. So, obviously, you know, with these tens and this five of pentacles with the hermit, it's it's time to leave that behind. Whatever it is that you were doing, right? You're rethinking this whole thing. That's why you have the justice. There has to be a decision made. Either can't go, can't continue like this, right? Can't go on like this or not with these people or not in this way or not making enough money or this is not what was supposed to be or just not connecting with the job. And so we have the hermit here where you are rethinking, but I think this is something that you've been doing for a while, right? Finding those answers, seeking that energy, that inner energy to break free from that everyday life or that routine. It, if, yeah, it feels a little bit like that, that you're digging deep within because you realize that this routine is not suiting you. This routine is not going anywhere. It's not making you evolve or it's not bringing in more money. There's no progress there because you're starting a new cycle. And the answer, obviously, is within you. You're the one making the choice. So either you made a decision or you're making a decision or someone made the decision and so you are back to the drawing board, right? 
And I feel like your knowledge and sense of truth is, you know, is within, not within the distractions of the world or not within the opinions of everybody else. I mean, yes, discussions, yes, ideas, right? But here for this particular energy, it's about you, what you want, what you want from this career, what you are building, what you expect, what your intentions are, what is it you wanted from this? What is it you were expecting from this situation? Because clearly that didn't happen or, or you're done with that cycle moving, moving forward, right? But if it's something you were expecting from someone or that money or that promotion or, you know, more responsibility or getting put on that project or whatever, right? You know now that this is, you've reached sort of like a, a pivotal point, a pivotal point in your career path and your life path where you are considering a new direction. And it's also a way to evaluate or reevaluate your personal goals, right? And changing your overall path. And whatever this situation is, right, or was, and it will be different for each and every one, it's really putting things in perspective to change or to look at your life with a deeper, more spiritual understanding, right? Your priorities are changing. Things are shifting. Yeah. Eight of Cups. Moving on. Leaving it behind. Leaving those emotions behind. That situation behind. That person. That job. That company. That project. Or even those hopes. Right? Hopes and wishes. Doesn't mean you don't have. Because look at this. You have the Nine of Pentacles. The King and the Queen. And the Page of Swords. So once this decision is made, however it's made, you're moving on to a new subject, to a new idea, fresh, new, exciting. And you're inspired. You're inspired by an idea, by a team, by a subject, whatever it is. And not only are you inspired, but you, you are gaining independence with this nine of pentacles and financial independence, but also independence in your choice. Maybe you are going to be independent. Maybe you are going to start your own business. Maybe you are going to be freelance. It doesn't have to be, but that is a possibility because between the king and the queen, you're very boldly, very confidently moving forward in a new energy. Ten of Wands, Two of Swords. Here's your new direction. Here's that crossroads where you have to make a decision. You know, am I going right or am I going left? Am I um, starting my own business or am I taking that job? Am I going back to school for more classes or am I getting that, you know, Am I, am I taking that training program or am I moving forward and now I'm going to become freelance independent? The Nine of Pentacles is just there to say you got, you have what you need financially and your independence, your choice is independent, you're comfortable with who you are, you're comfortable, therefore, where with where you stand with what your philosophy is right so then you can set your intentions set set your your purpose now as you move forward here so the king and queen of wands are either two people you're working with or pe two people that imposed oh imposed a sanction okay so when i say sanction 
impose the sanction can be, well, things have to shift, things have to move, we have to make a decision. So the, these can be bosses, you know, people above you, but I think it's you moving into also your new um, energy with much more confidence because now you feel a sense of freedom. Look at this. Confidence, pride, you know what you're doing. You're very um you're you're very good at what you do. People recognize your talent. People will reward you for your hard work and 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 look at you with, you know, um pride and also respect for what you have done or what you're doing. Yes, so here we have the confusion, okay, it's the end of this. What am I doing? I know where I stand. I know my strengths. I am proud of myself and confident, but I have to make a choice. I have to uh, double the justice, double the justice, and now we have the tower. So yes, that choice, that decision, no matter how you cut it, no matter who makes it, I think that double the justice is almost double the decision. I usually just um, take the cards as repeats, as confirmations. But here I feel like there's both something that happens within the business, within the situation that shifts it, shifts things, shakes things up and either ends a cycle or, you know, sort of pivots you into another direction. No choice. Something's got to give, right? Um, and then you are making your personal decision, um, which is that is also a pivotal point in your personal path, your personal, your life path, your career path, but also the purpose, the purpose, the intention you have in your career path. And you, we have the tower. So between justice and the tower, it's about realizing that now things are going to be done differently. Now, the justice, whenever I, I say big decision or things have to be shuffled or move around, it is for you to find your balance and your stability where you want to be comfortable with who you are, with your choices, and that sense of stability, right? It might be an obligation, right? But it's, it's going to give you a certain balance and stability to be able to push forward. You're going to be right in the right place to be able to start building the next chapter that's going to be different with the tower. That decision is making you realize that the next step, chapter, job, business, whatever it is, is going to be done differently. And also you're seeing things differently. You're seeing things from a different perspective. This this decision has a big impact on your way of seeing things, right? Understanding, realizing that this is going to be a change of structure, a change of ways. Uh, maybe you're moving. Uh, maybe you're going to be working and, 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 and relocating, right? Whatever it is, it's something that is giving you It's at the same time, it's giving you a sense of comfort. And at the same time, it's a big change, right? Again, can be moving. But the sense of comfort is coming because all of a sudden you're discovering that, you know, when we transition, when there's a big decision made, when there's a big shift, uh, usually when it's, it takes us a minute to process and it takes us a minute to understand what's going on, especially if we didn't expect it. And here with the tower, it might be something you didn't expect, or maybe you didn't expect it or not expect it as soon as, 
or with those people. Whatever that means. I don't know why I'm saying that. But all of a sudden, you realize that you want to impose yourself in a different way. You want to free yourself from certain ties. And it's almost like feeling a sense of relief. Now you can do whatever you want. Now you have your own choices. Now you can become independent. You don't depend on those people anymore. You don't depend on that situation anymore. You can now uh, release and, and free yourself. And that's why you have the sense of confidence because now you can lead a team or lead your own business, right? So even if it's a bit confusing, because the transition is always tricky, by the time we understand, uh, we listen, we we process, we figure out and who's what, what, where, what, right? Everybody is all over the place <coughs> and you have to find your new energy and your new powers to start this new path, this new career, this new job, whatever it is. I feel like there's one more card that wants to come out or two. Yes, so again, the King of Wands, confident, confident. There can be an Aries Leo Sag in the mix that made this decision or that was the the boss or the owner or something like that. But look at this, you have the, you have the fool. Not surprising. So now it's time. It's time. It's time to... Um, Live your life, Virgo. Time to live your life. That's what the fool is all about, really detaching yourself from or liberating yourself from maybe it's a relationship and it has nothing to do with a job. And that is what is what why you want to go on a new adventure. Go connect with new people. Go new, go discover the world. Right? That's what the fool is all about. No attachments. No attachments maybe in the job. And that's why you want to detach yourself and go on a whole new energy because you don't want to deal with this anymore. Right? But again, it can be detaching yourself from, um, from a relationship. I don't see that here, but that can be also the desire to move forward on something, you know, less... Uh, the fool is the the moment where you just want to be free. So whether you're freeing yourself of emotions, whether you're freeing yourself of um, triggers, wounds, situations, the fool is setting you free. It's a true, true liberation here that now you can go on your own path. No one's going to be in your way. You can go out and discover your own adventures without anybody imposing anything, anybody uh, ruling the situation. It's without, you, you don't want to be bound to anything, right? So complete freedom and maybe it is become you because you want to liberate yourself from, you know, a certain situation or relationship or habits or emotions, right? Whatever it is, um, with the fool, anything's possible. The world is open to you. The world is your oyster and anything goes. Good for you, Virgo. Good for you. All right, let's see if there's one last message for the road. Virgo, weekly money and career, December 18th to the 31st, 2023. For the sign of Virgo, is there one last message for the road, Virgo? Lots of cards. Six of Wands. Six of Cups. 
The nostalgia, nostalgia, hangman, patience. King of Pentacles, patience now. Here you are, Virgo, patience. I mean, all these sixes, it's, are you returning to something? Because you have, but you have the. It's almost like you're, you're. Well, you have two times six of one, so you. It's almost like you're returning. You're going back home, or you're going back to something, or you have the nostalgia of going back to something, and just being really proud of what you've done, and everybody praising your talent, praising your hard work. I'm seeing a parade. And there's now that's it's symbolic, obviously, but you know, like um, coming back home and being celebrated, huh? Maybe that's just for one person. For yes, four of one celebrating, celebrating with family, celebrating with friends, the joy of just being with family or people you love and enjoying life, right? It can be OC for the holidays. <coughs> And there you are again, Virgo, with the hermit. Something you really want. Something you really want. Just being with loved ones and being happy. M maybe after something that was really hard. You know, a hard project. Something you really pushed, pushed forward. And, you know, really pushed the envelope on that. And now you're sort of going back home and uh, with family and enjoying the family. Something like that, right? There is a decision down the line, obviously, and there is a new path. But I think that here you've done an amazing job and now you're rewarding yourself for a little, a little relaxing time, but understanding that the next step, you're gonna be much more independent or you really wanna go on a completely new adventures without any attachments. And it doesn't mean you did anything wrong. It really means that it's the end of that cycle. And now you want fresh, new adventures. No ties, no ties. Beautiful, beautiful reading, Virgo. I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did. Thank you so much for watching. I want to thank each and every one of you for sharing your energies, for being part of this channel and being part of the energies and the motivation on these readings. You have been amazing in 2023. You have pushed this channel past 30K and it is because of you that this channel exists and because of your energies that these readings exist. So I want to thank each and every one of you from the bottom of your heart, of my heart, and not in your heart maybe, but the, from the bottom of my heart, I wish you beautiful holidays wherever you are in the world. Happy holidays to all. And I wish you all new adventures all new abundance and your wishes coming in for 2024, Virgo. And the magic word is independence, independence or freedom. Both are not equal, but similar. So you get the choice. You can also put both. So put independence or freedom or both down below in the comment section if you wish to put your name in the hat to potentially get a free reading. All you have to do is put it down below and be subscribed. Most of all, be subscribed. I wish you a wonderful, wonderful holiday, and I'll see you right back here in 2024. Take care. Best wishes. Bye-bye.